Hello everyone. Now we will go for other string operations and we will discuss now condense. We already covered concatenate and split. Now we will cover condense. Now what is condense string operation? With the help of condense, you can remove the leading space and trailing space from a particular string. Now the question comes, what is leading space and what is trailing space? Maximum people have a wrong perception in this wrong leading and trailing space. So we'll see what is leading space and trailing space. Suppose I have this welcome. We have a space before that. So this is your leading space. We have a space after that. That is your trailing space. So this is your leading space and this is your trailing space. So with the help of condense, we can remove the leading and the trailing spaces. Now we have one more benefit of condense. Whenever we have a sequence of spaces, it will convert those spaces into a single space. We will understand this point. Suppose I'm saying we have a string value. Suppose we have a string and the value is, suppose I'm saying welcome. We have a sequence of spaces. Two, we have a sequence of spaces and home. So whenever you will use condense, suppose I will write the space, I'll take the space here also. Before this, I'll take the space here also. So with the help of condense, what will happen? It will remove the leading space. It will remove the trailing space also. And whatever the space, whatever the sequence of spaces is there, it will convert them into single space. So in that case, what will happen? It will remove all those spaces. Only single space will be there. It will remove all the spaces. Only single space will be there. So it's an extra advantage of our condense. So if you will use condense, it will remove your leading space, trailing space. If we have sequence of so many spaces, then it will convert them into single space. And that is our real world. Why there is a need of multiple spaces between the between the individual keywords. So with the help of condense, it will remove all those spaces and just it will keep one space. We'll see the practical part. So you will get it, you will get the more understanding. So what I will do, I will take a string. Suppose I will con come, I will comment the concatenate and split operation code because we already covered that. And you all know if you want to comment multiple lines, just select control plus comma is the shortcut. So what I will do, I will take a string variable. So I am saying data LV underscore input. Suppose I will say type string. And now we will take the value. Suppose value is, we will take firstly, suppose I will say leading spaces. Welcome. Then we are going for multiple spaces, multiple spaces. So I am writing two. I will take multiple spaces, home. And I will take a trailing space also. Now, this is our, this is our string. This is our data object or I'll say variable of string type. And this is the value. This is the value. And you all know very well, whenever we have a string data type, there's no need to specify the length. It will automatically calculate the length at the runtime. So now we will apply condense. So how we will apply condense? Condense. I will go for LV underscore input. So we are applying condense onto this LV underscore input. 
and now I will write this LV input. So I will write after contents. I will write this before applying contents also so that you can understand the difference fully before contents. So we are displaying before contents also and after applying contents, we are displaying it also. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Okay, so this is, okay, I'll comment that part also. It is not related to our, this particular example. So what we did, we took a variable of string type. This is the value of that string variable before condense we are displaying and after applying condense we are checked. I show you in that debugging mode, it will give you more and more clarity. We'll go to desktop three. Now, if I will go for LV underscore input, you can see we have a leading space. We have a space between the individual words also and multiple spaces are there. Now, firstly, we will display this. We have not applied the contents. Now we will apply the contents and just see how the result will change here. Now I'm applying contents. Have you seen this? leading space removed, trailing space removed, and multiple spaces are replaced by single space, single space. If I will go for just running this program, if I will execute, now you can see the correct, correct difference. Before condense, we have leading space. We have multiple spaces, multiple spaces, but after applying condense, everything removed, yes, we have leading space removed, we have trailing space removed, and whatever the multiple spaces are there, that converted to single space. Widely, widely used string operation. If I will go for the syntax, now you can compare it to syntax. How we apply the condense, condense, and whatever the string you want to condense. This is what we applied condense whatever the string you want to condense. Now in the condense, we will go for one more addition. Many times we will use condense no gaps also. Just think condense no gaps is a enhancement of condense. So what will happen with the help of condense what you are removing? You are removing the leading space, you are removing the trailing space and all spaces between the words converted to single space. With the help of condens no gap, word itself is saying, all, all spaces will be removed. There will be no gap at all. Suppose we will apply condens no caps. So I will apply condens no caps. Now I will write condens no gaps. So no gaps is a keyword. Word itself is saying it will remove all the gaps. Condense is keeping one one space between the individual words. But if you want to remove all the spaces, just use no gaps. And I will write here condense after condense no gaps so that we can understand fully what is the result of individual one. And I will use colon here so that we can clearly understood the output. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. I will run this particular program. You can see before condense, this is our string value. After applying condense, leading space removed, trailing space removed, and multiple spaces converted to single space. When we used condense no gaps, 
every every space removed now you can see everything is together so we discussed condense and we discussed condense no cap now we will discuss one more string operation that is s t r l e n word itself is saying it will return the length of the string it will provide the length of the string now we will see how we can use this particular string operation now i will declare one variable first which will return the length of the string suppose i am saying data suppose i am saying lv underscore length suppose i am taking the length as 2 suppose i am taking type as n numeric type i'll check the syntax and i will activate this particular variable this particular variable will give us the length of the string so firstly before applying condense we will check the length of the string after applying condense we will check the length of the string after applying condense no gaps we will check the length of the string and you will automatically detect now we are not applying condense before that itself we will check the length of the string so i will write lv underscore length is equal to so what is our operation name? S-T-R-L-E-N. S-T-R-L-E-N. We will pass but for which particular string we want to check the length. This is, this is our string variable. I will go for closing the bracket. Now I will check the syntax. Okay, we'll go for the space. We'll go for the space here. Okay, this is important point. While applying strlen, please, please pass the space here. So we are applying strlen on this particular string variable. Now, before we see the result, we will check calculate the length itself. So this is the space. This is the space. This is the space. This is the space. So everything will be considered as a part of the length of the string. So now before applying, before applying the condense, I will just calculate the length of the string. I'll just write the length before condense. And what is the variable which is giving us the length lv underscore length so we apply the str len on this string variable and result will assign to which particular variable lv underscore length now we will apply again of the operation after condense whenever we applied the condense then we will see but the length of the string is. So after you condensed the string, when you condense the screens, obviously so many spaces removed. So we will check the length after that. The length after condense. Now we will check the length after applying condense no gaps also. So that you can understand fully how, how the length is changing. So after applying condensed no caps, we are checking the length of the string. The length after condensed no caps. For the best understanding, we will check in the debugging mode. So we applied the strlen at three places before condensed after condense, after condense, no gaps. I will put the breakpoint. I'm running the program. 
So this is our LV underscore input. Now, whenever this statement will execute the string length, the string length of this particular variable will assign to LV underscore length. Now you can see now if this statement execute, if I will check LV length, LV length is 25, 25. So we have total 25 is here, including spaces and everything. Now we are up displaying 25. Now this is before condense. Now condense happened. After condense, after condense, the leading and trailing spaces removed and multiple spaces converted to single space. Now, if I will check the length, I will check the length. Now you can see LV underscore length is 15 only. So, so many spaces removed. Now we will apply, we are displaying 15. Now we are applying condensed no gaps. Now you can see every, every gap removed, every space removed. If we will check the string length again, have you seen the string length is 13 now? So these are widely, widely used operations. So if you want to calculate the length of the string, you can use strlen operation. And just remember, whatever you are giving, it can be dot, comma, space, everything. Everything is a part of a, everything is a part of the length of the string. So in this video, what we covered, we covered two string operation, condense and strlen. With the help of condense, you can remove the leading space, trailing space. And if multiple spaces are there, they will convert to single space. If you apply condense, no caps, all spaces will be removed. Everything will be combined. Then at the last, we cover strlen string operation. The purpose of strlen is to calculate the string length. And we took a variable which will return the string length. And we covered one important part here. When we apply strlen, we got the syntax error. How we remove that syntax error? We gave the spaces here. We gave the space so that it can consider that we are applying strlen. So that's it in this video. In the upcoming videos, we'll go for more string operations. Thank you.